If one of your resolutions was to eat better, we have got you covered. Today we are talking food swaps you can make to save hundreds of calories every day. And registered dietitian Ashley Hawk joins us now to break it all down. And Ashley, everybody wants to lose weight. They want to get healthier, but they don't want to give up their favorites. Right. You have some ways that people can actually hold on to some of those. Exactly. It's so hard because, you know, we have those foods that we just love, but I've got good news because I have some really simple food swaps that can save you up to 15 hundred calories a day that's an entire day's worth of meals almost yeah so absolutely. we're gonna go ahead and get started yeah and i'm gonna take you through some different food swaps you can make starting with the first thing of the day all the way to dessert all right let's start with the coffee, coffee yep Okay, so everybody loves their coffee. I know I am so guilty of waking up in the morning and the first thing I reach for is my cup of coffee. Now, what I want to encourage you to do here, though, is no longer get those lattes from the coffee shop or use that really sweetened creamer that we see in the stores. Uh -huh. Instead, just opt for half and half. And I know that sounds surprising because people are thinking, well, half and half, that's got fat in it as well. But I'm telling you, the natural fat in the half and half is going to make you less inclined to want to reach for adding that extra sugar syrup. So we want to ditch those really sugary syrup creamers from the store. We don't need to put cream in our coffee and just use a little bit of half and half instead. And that can save you up to 75 calories. Because when we're dumping in that coffee creamer, we sometimes lose track of exactly how much we're using. Mm. All right, and then some now, good, the good breakfast is, snacks too, yeah. Ex exactly, now the next thing is it's so tempting to want to reach for, you know, getting that fast and convenient fast food breakfast burrito. But I want to encourage you, instead of getting that fast food breakfast burrito, make your own wrap. Because when you're getting this fast food breakfast burrito, look how tiny this is. Yeah. And this can clock in at right around 500 calories. That's so much for such a little amount of food. But just by swapping out the tortilla alone and making your own with one of these whole wheat tortillas, you can save up to 300 calories. And on top of that, you can make it with your extra veggies. You can add in some peppers. You can do a fresh salsa. So you're amping up the taste and you're amping up the veggies. And you can make them ahead of time so you still have that quick and convenient grab and go option by keeping these in your fridge or freezer. Oh, so yeah. that right there is saving you right around 450 calories. Oh, oh man. Now, the next thing is we are tossing out the typical and archaic grocery store salad dressing. We do not want this guy anymore. These can sometimes cost us an extra two to 300 calories when we lose track of how much we're putting on a salad. And instead, we are gonna be making our own by using fresh lemon, and then we're just gonna be adding some aged balsamic vinegar or red wine vinegar. You're gonna add your herbs and spices, and then you're gonna squeeze in the lemon. I love doing this in a mason jar because it's so easy to just save the extra in your fridge. And then all you do is put it in your mason jar, shake this up, and then you have your own homemade salad dressing, which tastes even fresher than the grocery store ones. And on top of that, you're getting the extra vitamin C from the lemon. So you can just pour it right on top of a fresh salad. Yeah, and it's balsamic so delicious vinegar has and all kinds of uh, nice uh, taste flavor, and yeah. flangry, fl tangy flavor. Yep. All right. Exactly. It's so tangy and delicious. And then the last one I have for you is swapping out where we would normally use cheese. We are going to use my favorite go-to, which is nutritional yeast. So the great thing about nutritional yeast is that it's going to come in at around one third of the calories that we see in shredded cheese. And on top of that, it is loaded with protein and B vitamins. Everybody needs more B vitamins than we're aware of because that's what helps us keep our energy up. So I just want to show you here because I think it's so interesting how this is one cup of a grocery store mac and cheese. This can come in anywhere from 800 to even 1,000 calories because mm. we totally use track of portion control. But when we do our nutritional yeast instead, and we can mix it in with a big bowl of fresh noodles, we can make our own macaroni and cheese, and you're going to save about 500 calories. And on top of that, you're getting that extra good protein, and you're also getting those B vitamins. That so we absolutely love that. That's fantastic. And you have one more. We only got about 30 seconds left. Yeah, no problem. So I've got one more. We can't forget dessert. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, that typical milkshake that we get from the store, that can cost us right around 1,000 or more calories. But I'm telling you, what we need to all do in 2022 is swap out dates 
for any other time that we would have a sugar sweetened dessert. These dry dates are absolutely decadent and so yummy. And if you put these inside of your milkshake or your smoothie, you are not going to notice the difference. And they, on top of that, are lower in calories, just as sweet, and they stay fresher longer. Absolutely. So this is a great way to shave off that extra 800 uh, calories. All right, Fantastic. that is so great, Ashley. So Thank, Thank you so you. 